Hey guys, welcome to DIY Crafts. Welcome to the playlist of crochet chess set in which you can learn how to make your own chess board and coins. In this tutorial, I am going to show you a pattern for making this chess board and which can be converted as a bag to store the coins in the same bag. So let's get started. For this, I am using 4 ply cotton yarns of 2 colors and a 3 mm crochet hook. Now let's begin with one of the colors. Here I am taking the blue color one. Begin with a slip knot and make chain 9. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. And this forms the base of our first strip. For this 9 stitches we are going to work 9 double crochet stitches. For this make chain 1 and then make first double crochet stitch into the second chain from the hook. So here the chain 1 is not counted as a stitch. Just count this 1 DC as your first stitch. Now continue to make DCs throughout the chain. That's the second one. Third. Four. Five. Six. 7 and 8 finally the ninth one now this completes your first row with 9 double crochet stitches just remember that chain 1 in the first thing is not counted as a stitch I have decided to do 9 double crochet stitches in each row as this length correctly fits my chest coins as you can see it here so if your coins are wider then go for 10 stitches or even the 11 stitches. So for me 9 count fits perfectly for my chest coins. So now let's start making second row for this chain 1 and turn your work. Again we are not counting this chain 1 as a stitch. Just have a closer look at it. Now yarn over and make a double crochet stitch into the first stitch. That constitutes the first DC in our second row. Now continue to make DCs throughout the row. And by the end of the second row also you will have 9 double crochet stitches. Just I am moving this forward in a fast forward mode. And now into the last stitch make the last DC. Now chain 1 and turn your work. Continue to make until you complete 4 rows. Of double crochet stitches now here change the color to white again chain one and turn your work and now continue with the same pattern of making one DC in each and every stitch and each and every row we will have nine double crochet stitches see that's the first double crochet stitch and while working I'm going to add these tail ends along with the stitches so we don't need to weave in all the ends at the end. This helps us to reduce the work. So likewise these threads will be included along with the stitches. And now after adjusting a particular length you can trim off the threads or you can trim them by the end of the row after completing the row. Now I am doing the last stitch of the fifth row in white color. Now this completes the 9th DC in 5th row. Now trim all the excess threads and these tail ends. As we have already secured and weaved in, we are left with very less work by the end. Just be careful while trimming these excess threads. Now continue the same pattern for next 3 rows in white color. Just chain 1. Turn your work and start with double crochet stitches in each and every stitch throughout the row. Now after completing the 4 rows in white color, 
we are done with the second square in white now again change the color to blue and make another square with four rows and nine dcs in each row to complete the third square after that again change the color to blue and again change the color to white likewise we need to finish total of eight squares here i have done the last square and here is the first strip of eight squares so now chain one and trim the excess thread by leaving it long tail end i say you should take a double the length of the strip or even more and trim then trim the excess thread and this long thread is helpful for us to attach the strips together now this completes the first strip now like this make seven more strips but make sure you work the second strip in the opposite color which means for the first strip we have started with blue color and for the next strip just remember to start with white color here you can see my chess coins are perfectly in size for our chess board so i am going ahead to work all the remaining strips for this project for this i need four strips beginning with blue and other four strips beginning with white that makes a total of 8 strips so let me join you after making all the 8 strips so here is the first strip i have left this beginning end and the tail end for us to identify it so this is the first one and now i am going to show you how to attach all these strips together and this is the second one and the beginning end helps me to identify the right face of the project so now align them both together making the correct face facing upside this is how i identify them now place one strip over the other and just as shown in the video just place one strip over the other now through the joint we have this blue color now with the help of a darning needle i have just attached this tail end to it and now i am just going to join these two just weaving in and out identify the last stitch and just pass the needle through it so i am just showing it to you in a speed mode secure the beginning with a simple knot at the start that's the basic knot we have made at the beginning now make sure you align this first square hold it together tight and weave in and out through both the strips to make them join perfectly so pay extra attention while you are attaching the squares so these seams really looks aligned with the pattern now continue to sew them together till the end now after reaching the end reach out for the first stitches and then make a final knot for this i am just using the beginning end of the first strip and the tail end of this attaching knot and just making a knot So this completes the attaching of first two strips. Now it's time to attach all the other strips as well. Here I have already done that for you. And this is how it looks like after attaching both the strips together. All we need to do is just block it after completing your project. So this is the place after attaching all the six strips together. Now it's time to attach these two strips to the previously attached six strips and now this completes the base of our chess board. Let me come back to you real quick after attaching these strips together. Now this completes my chess board base and you can see the pattern uh, how defined it is and I really like the outcome and sorry for poor lighting here. 
Now it's time for us to turn this chessboard into a bag. But before that I have to do something with this tail ends. What I'm going to do is insert this threads along the line of the seams. So it won't take much time, just insert the darning needle into this tail end and weave in the ends along the side of the seams. So make it throughout with all those long ends. And for the short ends, we are going to include them while working the border for it. So here I am done with weaving in all the ends and now we are going to add a border for it. Of course, to turn this chest board into a bag. For this, I am taking the same blue color cotton thread. If you wish, you can check out for different color threads if you want it. Now insert this blue color thread along the side of the one of the strip at the corner and attach it. Now chain 3 or chain 4 according to your triple stitch. Here I have done chain 3. And now yarn over twice and make a triple stitch. That's yarn over twice and make a triple stitch into the same corner stitch. Now chain 1. Skip the next stitch, yarn over twice and make a triple crochet stitch in the later stitch. Again chain 1, skip the next stitch and make a triple stitch in the later stitch. So likewise, continue to make triple crochet stitches throughout the base of the chessboard. And just remember while making this one, just include these tail ends so you don't need to weave in all the ends again and again. And this is how the border looks like. Now continue to make triple crochet stitches throughout the row with a chain 1 space. Chain 1, skip 1 stitch and make a triple crochet. Again chain 1, skip 1 stitch and again a triple crochet. Continue this pattern throughout the line until you reach the next corner. And here at the corner, to balance the shape of the square, I am going to make a TC, chain 3 and another TC into the same stitch. And then along the sideways, I am going to make one triple crochet stitch separated by chain space in each and every triple crochet stitch, I mean the double crochet stitch, which means we will have 4 TCs in each square until you reach this corner. Again at the corner, we are going to make a V stitch that is triple stitch, chain 3 and triple stitch. Again along the other side, make a TC, chain 1, skip 1 stitch and a TC. Again the corner V stitch and continue the pattern throughout the border until you reach the starting point. Now after reaching the starting point, I am going to make a triple crochet stitch into the first stitch where I have done this chain 3. Now again make another chain 3 to make the corner of the project and now make a slip stitch into the first stitch and this forms the corner. Now trim the excess thread and weave in the ends. And now we are going to make a chain or you can use any rope to weave in and out throughout the border. And this turns this mat into a bag. We just need to weave in these ends. And now this completes the pattern for the chessboard. You can now play with this on the chessboard with your chess coins. And it's beautiful to play with our own creations, isn't it? I hope you all enjoyed watching this tutorial. Do give this pattern a try and let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Keep watching the playlist to get the patterns of all the chess set. See you all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please like the video, share it and subscribe to DIY Crafts.